हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एजुकेटर्स प्लस और आज की वीडियो में हम लोग जो टॉपिक डिस्कस करने वाले हैं दैट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड प्रीवियस ईयर्स में इसमें से क्वेश्चन पूछा गया है दैट इज इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस सो बेसिकली इट इज पार्ट ऑफ योर एन टी एन एच जी आर एफ पेपर फर्स्ट यूनिट नाइन दैट इज पीपल डेवलपमेंट एंड एनवायरमेंट सो बिफोर डिस्कसिंग विद द टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू इन्फॉर्म यू दैट एजुकेटर्स प्लस की गूगल प्ले पे ऐप अवेलेबल है सो इफ यू वॉन्ट आप जाके आपको डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं वहां से आप वहां ऐप पे आपको पेड कोर्सेस मिलेंगे जिसमें वीडियोज एंड लाइव सेशंस हैं ई बुक्स अवेलेबल हैं सारे टॉपिक्स के ऊपर बोथ इन हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश मीडियम मॉक टेस्ट सीरीज अवेलेबल है सीबीटी मोड के ऊपर दैट इज ऑन सेम एन टी ए रेप्लिका पैटर्न कंप्लीट स्टडी मटेरियल को प्रोवाइड किया जा रहा है बेस्ड ऑन न्यू पैटर्न and also live interactive sessions send out clear karne ke liye and for more details you can always check the description box of the video so yes now let's start with the topic that is international solar alliance so jo international solar alliance hai wo ek intergovernmental treaty based organization hai with a global mandate to catalyze solar growth by helping to reduce the cost of financing and technology So basically, ISA, that is International Solar Alliance, is the nodal agency for implementing One Sun, One World, and One Grid uh, scheme, which seeks to transfer solar power generated uh, generated in one region to feed the electricity demands of the other region. Uh, so basically, International Solar Alliance is a group of nations that lies within the tropics, Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. and they receive sunshine of more than 300 days so it is a platform for the collaboration of sunshine countries in the domain of the energy security so agar iski launch ki baat kari jaye so it is an indian initiative jisko launch kiya gaya tha by the prime minister of india and the president of france on on 30th november 2015 in paris france on the sidelines of the united nations framework convention on climate change conference of parties 21 with 121 solar resource rich countries lying fully or partially between the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn as prospective members so agar members ki baat kari jaye so 101 members hain of the international uh, solar alliance after uh, it is being joined by the united states recently हेडक्वार्टर्स की बात करी जाए तो उसका हेडक्वार्टर इज इन इंडिया विद इट्स इंतरिम सेक्रेटेरिएट बीइंग सेट अप इन गुरुग्राम नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑब्जेक्टिव सो जो ऑब्जेक्टिव है इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस का वो है दैट इट सीक्स टू कलेक्टिवली एड्रेस की कॉमन चैलेंजेस यू नो टू द स्केलिंग अप ऑफ सोलर एनर्जी इन इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस मेंबर्स कंट्रीज so further now let's discuss about one of the important reports of the international solar alliance jo recently uh, launch ki gayi thi in the year 2020 so that was ease of doing solar report 2020 so basically international solar alliance ease of doing solar report 2020 has covered 80 countries and it identifies the high solar energy performers in 2020 so jo report hai wo mention karti hai india as one of the uh, world's top markets in solar energy and also the other countries mentioned in the report as one of the top markets are brazil saudi arabia and the united arab emirates further uh, the countries with moderately fav- favorable conditions for the solar market are rwanda sri lanka nigeria argentina and egypt further uh, the report also talks about the potential markets that are found in the following countries and these countries includes bangladesh ethiopia and zimbabwe further uh, the seven key indicators evaluated in the report are as follows and these seven key indicators are macroeconomy policy enablers technical feasibility market maturity infrastructure and the financing of the ecosystem further also the energy imperatives so agar hum log main aim ki baat kare of isa so that is first aim is to reduce financial risk across a larger global market then the second aim is to encouraging cooperation on technology the third aim is increasing energy access and the fourth aim is building capacity further if we talk about financing options of further if we talk about the financing options of international solar alliance so the private sector here that is willing to contribute dollar 500 million and the public sector uh, Uh, is also willing to contribute another dollar 500 million so this gives international solar alliance a financial stability or we can say a financially sustainability 
Further, International Solar Alliance has the potential to popularize new financial mechanisms that are popular now in India, such as uh, masala bonds as well as green solar bonds for raising cheap money in the nation also. So now what are the advantages of International Solar Alliance? So basically it will give desired push towards clean energy, you know, when the world is reeling under the impact of climate change due to pollution from energy generating plants like coal, etc., right? Further, the Alliance has a 24-7 uh, solar cyber center. So this will give open access to all nations uh, for advice and information on many projects and financing uh, and financial innovation. Apart from that, the Alliance can also play an advoc uh, advocacy role in asking the financial institutions to offer a part of their lending for solar energy. So this is like what the Reserve Bank of India did in India. Uh, up to 15 crore investment in the field of renewable energy is a priority sector lending. And up to 10 lakh is a priority sector lending for rooftop uh, solar panels. So yes, this was all for today's video. I hope you find this video helpful and relevant. Then please do subscribe to our channel, like, share, comment and stay tuned for the more upcoming videos. Thank you.